After an exciting exhibition win at the Brooks Center last week, and the Huskies are ready to kick off the 2015-16 season. Hello and welcome to a new season of the St. Cloud State Husky Hockey Week in Preview. I'm your host, Taylor Budge. I'm joined here today with Mick Hatton from the St. Cloud Times. Mick, how's it going? Oh, doing well. How are you? Pretty good. I can't <laughs> complain that it's college hockey season finally. So a lot of changes during the offseason for the Huskies. Not only did we lose seven seniors, we lost Johnny Brodzinski. How are the Huskies going to fill those shoes this year? Well, there's not, you know, there's nine freshmen on the, on the roster this season. And, uh, you know, obviously, the, you know, they're going to need some, some of those guys to step up and contribute. But, you know, one of the big things, I think, with this team, too, that, you know, maybe people don't really realize is that they had three guys in the offseason that had had surgery. Uh, Daniel Tedesco, a forward, had had a hand surgery. Uh, Callie Kosla had uh, hip surgery during the offseason. And Ryan Papa missed all of last season because he had two hip surgeries and he's finally back. And so I think those three guys, uh, you know, coming back and being healthier, I think that's going to be a boost to the offense. Maybe it'll help offset in particular, you know, the loss of Johnny Brodzinski, obviously Andrew Prochno on, on defense, Tim Daly, uh, two, two defensemen who played an awful lot last season. So they're going to they're gonna need more contributions from some of the defensemen here in the early going uh, with the freshmen, particularly with Nicholas Nevelinen out. Uh, he's not going to make the trip up to Alaska this weekend. Yeah, let's talk about the trip to Alaska, but let's go back first to the exhibition game last week. A 6-2 win for the Huskies. We got to see all those uh, new freshmen play. We got to see the injured guys return. What kind of stuck out for you in that victory? Well, you know, I think they, you know, the first thing that jumps out at you is they scored six goals, which is a, this is a good sign. Uh, you know, goal scoring last season, you know, was a little up and down. Uh, you know, that's obviously something that they're hoping uh, they've addressed here with uh, the freshman class that they've got coming in. And as I mentioned, with Cali being close to closer to 100%, uh, Ryan Papa being back in particular, I think they're expecting you know more offense out of those two guys. Uh, uh, Cali really struggled last season in terms of you know trying to get healthy and trying to get to a point where he, he could contribute and he was really frustrated and uh, you see a smile on his face now and so that's one of the things that you notice uh, about the team early on. Six different goal scorers on Saturday night. How do you think that's going to help them when they head up to Alaska this weekend? They have two games on Friday and Saturday against two different teams, and one of them is a former WCHA opponent. Yeah, well, you know, one of the things you know with with uh, you know this team is that they think that they're deeper with their scoring this season. They think they've added a little bit more skill. Uh, some of the forwards that, that graduated last season uh, were you know more kind of role players, maybe not quite as gifted offensively. Where the freshman class, they really think that the, these four guys. Uh, are going to come in and, and be able to contribute offensively. So uh, I think that you know they're going to see an you're going to see an increase in their offense even early going. I think. Who's the player to watch for St. Cloud State this weekend? You think? <laughs> ah, that's always a tough question. But you know, I, I really like the you know, and Coach really liked uh, you know the, the line with with Kosla at center and Patrick Russell on the right wing, and uh, Patrick Newell, the freshman, uh, on the left wing. Uh, Patrick uh, Newell came in and. Uh, had a goal and an assist, and I thought both were really kind of heady plays. And uh, both the other two guys on that line uh, have been lauding how, how he's kind of come in and, and uh, been able to contribute right away and is asking a lot of questions. So I, I like that line a lot. So we haven't really heard much of Alaska Anchorage since we haven't played them in our conference the past few seasons, but you said that you should be well prepared for a team like this. <laughs> well, you know, the, the big thing with the Alaska schools is that, you know, they get an extra week of, of practice beforehand. So, you know, one of the things that, you know, teams kind of struggle with when they go up to Alaska and play in this tournament is that they're already kind of behind the eight ball. They, had, they haven't had as much practice. Uh, you'll see the, the penalty kill and the, and the power play. If St. Cloud wins those battles, uh, this weekend, they're going to have a good shot at winning. Uh, you know, but Alaska on, on Friday night is probably the tougher test. Uh, they had a winning record last season. Uh, Tyler Morley was a first team all WCHA player and he's a guy to watch uh, on that team. Uh, Alaska likes to skate. They like to get up and down the ice. They like to play offense. So uh, those are two th couple things I guess to watch with the Nanooks. <laughs> <laughs> now your favorite question real quick predictions for this weekend. We're hoping for a Husky sweep to start the season, but I know it's your favorite question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that they're, they're going to split. I, I'm going to say that the, the game on, on Friday night is going to be a little bit tougher for them with, with, uh, with Alaska just because I think uh, they've got a little bit more offensive punch uh, th than Anchorage does. Anchorage only had 
13 shots in their exhibition game. So, and they got shut out in that game. So I'm, I'm expecting the, them to come back with a, a win and a loss. How's that? I, I like that, but I'm hoping for a sweep. <laughs> so you'll be able to catch the game eight o'clock puck drop central time on Friday against Alaska Fairbanks and then puck drop on Saturday at 10 p.m. just because the game is out in Alaska. But the good news, the Huskies will be back here next weekend as they take on MSU Mankato here at the Herbrooks National Hockey Center. Nick, thanks for coming in. Thank you.